I mean the anxiety, the lack of direction, the confusion. Time seems to be moving very fast and you feel like you're being left behind by your peers. And money really is a big issue in the 20s or lack thereof. And so it's understandable that it's one of those most confusing times in an individual's life. I just felt I needed to share some of the guide posts for lack of a better word that I use to guide me through this time and hopefully you find these tips helpful as well if you're in your 20s. Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time we are meeting, my name is Dennis. On this space I discuss self-improvement and topics that touch on positivity and wellness in the hope that this will help you make better decisions and live a better life. So before I go into today's video, kindly subscribe to the channel and also remember to hit that notification icon so that every time I put up new content, YouTube lets you know and so that we can engage more often. So we are talking about guideposts or rather life tips to help you go through your 20s. And these are things that I use, hopefully things that you can also take advantage of. Of course, if you disagree, leave a comment in the comment section. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section. So the first thing I've found that is very useful is always say yes. Always say yes. Your 20s will provide you with a lot of opportunities or rather I should say a lot of challenging opportunities. So this could be a new job or perhaps you get an idea to start a business. It could be an idea to pursue some creative project. And at the time when you're just starting off, all these things will feel overwhelming and you will be like, I don't even know how to start. I don't even know how to do this. But let me just tell you right now that whatever challenge you encounter in your 20s, especially the early stages, 23, 22, 21, you always want to say yes especially if it's a good thing and it's something that you feel can change your life. Even if you do not understand how to approach it or how to go about it, say yes and figure out everything else later. All these people that you see are very good at what they do. None of these people were born knowing how to do this thing. They learned this thing on the job. So you always want to say yes, go for it, believe in yourself and figure out everything else later. It's actually a process. All these professionals learned on the job. So if you see that someone is very good at something and you're like, whoa, this person was born to do this thing. Nobody was born to do anything. Everyone learns on the job. Don't let anyone discourage you from something that has the potential to change your life. The second tip that I found very useful and this applies to your dreams and your aspirations that tip is, nobody can know for you. You have to know for yourself. And as I said, this applies to your dreams and your aspirations. So in your early 20s, you will feel like uh, there's something that you want to do. There's a dream that you want to pursue. But then it looks very daunting. It looks very big. And you don't know if you'll eventually get there. And most often, you normally want to ask for advice from your family, from your friends and from all these people that are around you but in as much as asking for advice is not bad do not expect other people to have your dreams figured out for you they have dreams as well so if they cannot figure out their dreams for themselves what makes you think that they can figure out your dreams for you so if you have to take advice take advice from someone who is already doing what you are doing not your friend who like you has not even started doing that thing and i know this is very ambiguous but i hope it makes sense for you in a sentence i would say nobody can know for you you have to know for yourself the third tip that i find very useful and that you want to take advantage of in your 20s or as early as possible is to start thinking about a second stream of revenue and i'll give you an example if you give a job that pays 50,000 Kenyan shillings to a 20-year-old or a 25-year-old who is single and for those of you who are not in Kenya or who are watching me from other areas 50,000 Kenyan shillings is uh, 500 US dollars and that may seem like a uh, very little but in Kenya that is actually decent pay and that translates to 50,000 Kenyan shillings so as I was saying if you give 
a job that pays 50,000 Kenyan shillings to a 25 year old who is single, they will thank you for it. But if you take that same job and give it to a 40 year old or a 50 year old who has a wife and three children in college, then it doesn't even cover their basics. So what that means is you need to start thinking of a second stream of revenue. And this is something that doesn't have to happen instantaneously. This is something that you have to grow over time. Look into the future, be visionary about it. You want to grow and nurture the streams of revenue so that later on in life, you will not be bogged down by bills and by loans. Because trust me, if you do not have a second stream of revenue, you will have to take credit to take care of your commitments. The importance of a second stream of revenue cannot be overstated. And the fourth tip that I found very useful is to realize that being broke doesn't mean that something is wrong with you. Because in your 20s time feels like it moves very fast and uh, these days social media has made it seem like everyone else has their life figured out. You may feel like, why am I broke? Why don't I have money like my peers who are having fun and visiting all these fancy places? While me, I'm just here, uh, just winging it. I don't even know how to go about this. Is something wrong with me? Well, let me tell you, being broke doesn't mean anything is wrong with you, especially if you're working towards something. It's just a phase that you have to go through to emerge on the other side stronger and wiser. And this point actually leads me to my fifth and my last, and that is never compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. And this is very important because whatever project you start, there will always be people who started before you. There will always be people who have made it in that particular field. There will always be people who have succeeded. You may feel that pressure and you may feel overwhelmed and you may start thinking like, Whoa, I got into this too late. What am I going to do? You have to put in the work. Don't compare yourself with these people. And believe me, if you put in the work, if you apply yourself, if you believe in yourself, then you will get where those people are and perhaps even surpass and go over and above them. So these are the five tips that I found very useful. These are my guideposts. So thank you for watching this video up to this point. If you felt that this video was helpful, kindly give the video a thumbs up. Also kindly share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, be the best version of yourself and I'll be seeing you on the next.